Hey everyone, it's Aaron from WPKB and in this video we're going to take you through the site info area in Security Security. I've got it open on my screen now, so we'll get started. What you'll find in here is basically just information on your website, especially in this first tab here, plugin and server info. It shows you some details regarding the security plugin, such as the version, the MD5 sum, and the last time a scan was run, but there's also more general server information below that. You can see the operating system it's on, what server it's running, so Apache, Nginx, etc. MySQL version and just some PHP specifics there. All of these are kind of handy if you're experiencing issues with your server and you just need access to that information to find out exactly what's going on. Thereafter, you can go through to WordPress cron jobs and this I find to be particularly interesting. You can see the cron jobs that WordPress will run by itself. So you can see it's going to check for theme, plugin and version updates as well as auto updates uh, twice daily. And it also shows you the next time that they are scheduled to run. And also you can see the scheduled scan time for the next security scan and for how often it's set to run as well. Next, we can move on to HT Access Integrity. And in here, you can just see what the contents of your HT Access file are. This is what WordPress uses or indeed what any Apache server will be using to dictate what will and won't actually be served uh, to a person trying to visit your website. It's also what makes changes to your permalinks and so on. There's not a lot to see here. It's just basically the contents thereof. And thereafter, we just go to WP config variables. This gives you all of the data out of your WP config file, your database name, user host, your security keys, database prefix, and a couple of other little details down there. Again, it's not a super useful area in the general sense of what you'd normally be getting out of this plugin, but in order to find out certain details, it can be a great place to come and look when you need to get particular bits and pieces uh, that you need to apply in some way. But that brings us to the end of this video. We hope that you've taken something out of it and that you can use this plugin on your website. If you have any questions about what we've done, please feel free to ask in the comments below. And of course, if you've enjoyed these videos, please hit subscribe for more.